in the grant making side of our program, we identified about six funding areas, which are not that distinct, but we see them as the areas where art can be more have more public impact. Um, so the idea is organizations that have a public facing mission or at least are doing work that reaches a public. It's, it's a bit vague. But some specific examples would be community-based museums. So right. past grantees have been the Bronx Museum of the Arts, um, Queens Museum. Currently, we're supporting the Brooklyn Museum with a show called We Wanted a Revolution, which is focused on um, African-American women artists of the, from the 70s. So looking at a kind of under-recognized area of feminism. Artistic activism seems to be almost the umbrella that touches all of the areas of our funding. Artist-centered organizations, because we understand that while there's public facing activity that happens, artists still need to have a role in shaping culture um, and experimenting in ways that when you're at the table with, you know, arts educators, maybe, maybe there, you know, there's a different focus towards um, the, let's say, impact of art, like that art has an impact on youth, right? right? Whereas an artist working in a studio program can develop an idea that might lead to something that would eventually impact youth or communities but we don't want to exclude one or the other.